Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon Epstein and on this channel I teach mental fitness training. So essentially what that means is I teach you how to consciously create your reality by training your focus and your choices. So if you're new to this channel or if you have not already done this, I highly recommend you grab my free mental fitness training workbook. It's linked up in the description below. And in that workbook, you're gonna get my step-by-step -step guide for how you can implement this training to become a conscious creator of your reality. So you can start to control how you feel, how you behave, and what you're creating in your life. So definitely check that out. And if you really want some support, I also have a course available, which is, it basically gives you a lot more assistance. You're gonna get uh, coaching from me and you're gonna get some modules that walk you through it step by step. So whatever option you want, it's linked up in the description below. Now let's talk about how I uncovered the hidden powers of my mind. It all started back in my freshman year of college. For me, when I was 18 years old, football was life. Basically, I built my whole identity around being a football player and so I went to go play college football. And in my first year playing, I really didn't get any playing time. I was super pumped because I got in one game, I, I believe, and in that game, I only got in because we blew the other team out. Besides that, I just rode the bench. And if anyone's had an experience like this before, it's not very fun. You go to practice every single day of the week, you put all this work in, and the game comes where it's supposed to be fun, and you don't get to play. And you're kind of like, well, what am I doing here? Like, why am I, why am I even doing this, right? I want to be in the game. So. In that off season, I went on a journey to try to discover how I could become better at football. And really, that was an opportunity for me to grow in so many other ways. And so what I did at first was I started going down the normal routes. I started to learn more about nutrition. I started to learn more about strength conditioning. And as I started to learn about those things, I started to reach out for help. And I actually went to my local supplement store and I asked this guy for help. And he was someone that I had a mutual friend with. He seemed to know what he was talking about. And so he started talking to me a little bit about nutrition, a little bit about my workouts. And you know, it's all fine and well. And I was like, okay, this sounds some, like some other things I've heard and I can definitely implement this. But then he started to bring in this whole other arm of how I can improve my performance. And it was a very slow build because as you may know, like a lot of this stuff can be very off-putting at first. So if someone's like, you got this supercomputer in your mind that you can do anything. You're like, yeah, whatever, bro. Like, just tell me something I can actually use. So it was a very slow build, but he began to slowly show me how I could use the power of my mind to actually get better at football. And for me, I was a defensive lineman. I played DN, so I wanted to become more powerful, more explosive, more strong. And so he started to teach me these different techniques. And one of these techniques was being able to shift my brain waves. So normally we operate in our conscious mind, which is primarily beta brain waves. Yes, you experience all the brain waves, but primarily beta brain waves. And when you're in that conscious state, you only have access to about six to 40 bits of information processing power per second versus if you can drop your brain waves down, you can slow them down, you can unlock up to 40 million bits of information processing power. And so he began to show me how I could shift from primarily beta brain waves to alpha, theta, and even delta brain waves. And during these brain waves, you can start to shift what your mind believes is possible, and you can shift your internal programming to start to create different physical results. So this shows up in a number of different ways. Number one, when you believe you can do something, your actions will align with what those beliefs are and you'll end up getting better results. But even beyond that though, if you start to believe you're capable of doing something beyond the scope of what you previously believe is possible, you can start to break through barriers. So one great example of this was the first person, uh, Rob, uh, Roger Bannister, the first person who ran, I think a sub four minute mile. Before he did it, everyone thought it was not possible. They're like, you can't do it. The human beings, the human form cannot run a mile in less than four minutes. Well, once he did it for the first time, it opened up the belief for all these other people. And now hundreds of people have been able to run a sub four minute mile. This works very similarly. And so it started to open up my mind to what was possible for me playing football and the power I had, the explosiveness, what I was able to accomplish. He started to show me how I could use things like shifting my brain waves to reprogram my mind. He started to show me how I could 
use the energy that's abundantly available everywhere in my energy system, utilizing my chakras and meridians to start to become more powerful. And so as he started to show me these things, I started to buy in. Because of course, the rational mind's like, no, 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 it doesn't work, it's BS, this is hippie stuff. And so the only way I started to buy into this was by actually doing it. So he'd teach me a technique and I would go from like being able to jump this high to being able to jump this high. And I was like, whoa, that's weird. And then we started to take it into strength performance and I would start to do these deep visualizations where I'm utilizing those deeper brainwave states, alpha, theta, delta, and I go through this visualization and then boom, I throw an extra 10 pounds onto my bench press. So being an 18, 19 year old, I guess at that time meathead, I was like, whoa, okay. Even though my rational mind doesn't fully understand this, I'm starting to see that there's hidden powers in my mind that are making it possible. So I'm not gonna tell you the whole story of what I learned and how I got into that, maybe another time I will, but long story short, I went back my sophomore year and I started dominating. I dominated everyone I came up across, uh, come across, everyone I came up against. So the offensive tackles, I was just pushing people out of the way. Not that I was so much stronger, but I had access to this whole new field of energy that I was utilizing to become more powerful, more explosive. And I really believed that I was that caliber of player. And so my beliefs led to higher level of performance, better behaviors, and a better outcome. And so as I went through the season and I started to dominate my uh, just the other players on my team and then as i went into the season and i was able to win defensive player of the game i was able to get 13 tackles in one game as a defensive end which if you know american football that does not happen like ever and so as i started to do all these things and accomplish these things i started to really uncover the hidden powers of my mind and so that just led me down a rabbit hole i was playing division three football so i was not going to the nfl so at that time it was a very toxic environment. I decided to stop playing completely and begin to shift my mind and energy into research. And so in my last year of college, I actually did a research study where I utilized similar um, guided meditation techniques to get people into these deep, slow brain waves to start to increase their bench press performance their, and decrease their levels of stress and increase their perceived level of happiness. And through this process, when I went from just having me have all these results to now seeing all these other people have results as well, it really fully kind of brought everything together and solidified how powerful our minds are. And the rest is history, you know? From that point, this is about 12 years ago from when I first started to learn these techniques and I've continued to practice them, I've continued to bring them into my work with professional athletes now and entrepreneurs and anyone who wants to learn this stuff. And so my aha moment for uncovering the hidden powers of my mind was just seeing it in practice. And so that's my story. Basically college football was a conduit for me getting into all of this. But for you personally, all you need to get started is just to find an area of focus. Somewhere where you've been coming up against like this invisible force, this invisible energy. It's like, why can't I get over this? Why can't I get better at this? And once you start to apply the principles that I teach on this channel and also in the mental fitness training that's I said in the beginning of the video, linked up in the description below, you get that free guide. Once you start to apply this stuff to something you focus on and you start to experience results, you will start to unlock the same power of your mind as well. This is something that's available to everyone. It's just not taught in schools. It's not taught in any really mainstream culture at this point in time in history. We all know though, we are a species with amnesia. So this stuff dates back for thousands of years. All these techniques have been used before. It just happens to not be in the mainstream as much in the year 2020. So if you wanna to start to uncover the hidden power of your mind and really tap into that subconscious and utilize it to create the outcomes you want in your life, do it, take the action. Start by finding one area of focus that you wanna improve at, go get that mental fitness great training workbook and put it into action. I promise you, you're gonna to start to watch as your life absolutely transforms and you really blow the lid off of what you thought was possible. So. That's my story, I can't wait to hear yours. If you guys have already started to do this training, or if you do it, please let me know in the comments below. And finally, 
I picked this video to shoot this week because last week I pulled you guys on YouTube and on Instagram and you told me this is what you wanted to see next. So if you wanna pick next week's video, follow me on Instagram. Uh, make sure you check out the YouTube community tab where I'm gonna be putting up the poll. Tell me what video you want and I'm going to respond back to that by creating the one that is most popular, the one that gets voted on most. So thank you for your time and effort. I really uh, encourage you to take the action uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And as always, be the thing.